Ooh wee, it smells like paint in here. I've got the PVA primer up and because this room wasn't that big, I went ahead and put two coats of sealer on there. You know, the dark areas in between the joints and stuff, you know, that you saw on there. I'm just, I'm hoping, I'm crossing my fingers that the finished paint's going to cover that. In all retrospect, had I have thought of it, I would have got something like Kills uh, Stain Blocker or some sort of Stain Blocker Primer and put that up instead of just a regular PVA primer. But I, I'm pretty sure all this is going to cover. Now with PVA sealer, you will see things coming out of the ceiling kind of like this. Even though you think it's not covering, it actually is. So I'm pretty good. I feel pretty confident about it. And I put two coats on, you know, to give it just a little bit more up there. All right, I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to go to lunch, let it dry a little bit, and come back and put the finish paint on. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm just getting ready to get into the finished paint, and I wanted to show you this. You see how long this uh, weenie roller extension piece is? See, this is the one that I used before. And this is going to give me another foot so that I can probably reach everything uh, without getting up on my ladder when I start using this mini roller. That's going to be kind of slick. Now granted, I did, I was able to reach the very top with this, but I had to stand my tippy toes and I really don't want to do that. So, you know, this morning I saw this and I've been carrying this around forever and I very seldom use it but even if you're doing eight foot ceilings or something um, or ten foot ceilings you can you can stay right on the ground and just use this without an extension pole let's say you know I saw this this morning I thought I'm never gonna use that ever probably I might as well just throw it away or something or give it away and son of a gun I I started thinking about it and I'm going to try that because I don't really like getting back and forth on the ladder because when I do the finish paint what you want to do when you're doing the finish paint you want to go from start to finish on uh, one little section of the wall from the top of the ceiling all the way down you don't want to do little bits on the primer I could I, I went and I did a little bit at a time, and I, and I ran the roller this way, and then I ran the roller this way, because I really didn't care about it. But once you start the finished paint, you want the roller to go all in the same direction, and it's best to go from the top down, especially on these cathedral ceilings. I don't want to go halfway down and do all the high stuff first and then come from the bottom up. Then it's hard to blend in and on how thick your paint is and all that. But I'm doing flat paint, so I should be fine one way or another but before I do the mini roller yes I'm gonna use this again to do all my cutting with a, just a crummy little throwaway paintbrush because I've got to cut in the walls after okay keep her going I think I showed you all the primer before before it dried now it's all dry. You want to make sure your primer gets all the way dry before you start doing your finished paint. Okay? Wow, that's starting to look nice. Let's get that finished paint up there. Let's just briefly talk about this ceiling paint. I'm using a flat paint and this one is bright white. That's what they wanted. Ultra pure white and I even had them put a little bit of extra tinting in, um, which they think is going to make it a little bit fuller and with the body color and all that. So that's why I chose that. Now this paint, it was like 16 bucks a gallon. This is, a, this is like a two gallon container. When you buy paint in two gallon containers, usually you can buy two, two gallons of paint cheaper than two single 
uh, paint gallons. So if you know for sure you're going to use more than two gallons, or at least a gallon and a half, gallon three quarters, whatever, look and see if you can get a two gallon container like that. You might save yourself some money.